Okay, Justin, here's your flight. Tango Pop Lima, Addison. Okay, here's the test test flight if you flew. This yellow cursor, of course, is telling us um, exactly all these indications here on the right side and where you're at in the flight. So here's your startup. We can see the number four cylinder, which is that magenta one, is a little on the low throughout the whole climb and everything else. Okay, so we come up here to take off power. A couple things I see is one, RPMs low. Two is your TITs are a little bit on the high side. You're expecting to see about 1275 on the ratio that's there. You can tell that the CHTs here climb throughout the throughout your short climb that's here. You didn't really climb too far. Now let's get to a portion here. We see the number three CHT. You did a GAMI check right here. I'm going to scroll in on that. And we're going to look at this GAMI test right here. We can see we've got a big difference on the, in the engine. So let me run the GAMI test here. One point zero six gallons. So number two is the leanest, and number three is the richest. You really need to a you could clean the nozzles, but I suspect it's probably not going to help. The number you're going to want to probably look at getting uh, GAMI nozzles on this and straighten that up and get it down to about that point two range and that's going to help a lot with that number three CHT issue. Let's go ahead and we're going to go back to the full chart here. I'll bring that down. Another note right here, this is the oil pressure. We're running at 46 pounds. 46 pounds indicated at the rear of the engine. Generally we find that the oil pressure drops 10 PSI by the time it gets to the front of the engine. The minimum oil pressure is 30 PSI from Continental. And I would like to think that's throughout the whole engine. So you're at the minimum oil pressure for the front of the engine. I would strongly recommend increasing the oil pressure um, at least one full turn on the regulator. That's about five to eight pounds. Make sure it's running, uh, then probably you want to do about a, I'd say do a rotation in a quarter at this point and get it in the mid 50s, 53 to 55 in cruise. Look at the data here, we can see the number 5 EGT is a little on the wonky side. That could be a spark plug, it could be an ignition lead being burnt, um, it could be a valve starting to show its uh, health concerns, and it could be a burnt valve, loose valve guide, something like this there, it's just worn out. Now take a look at that number 5 of the boroscope very closely. And we talked about the mags earlier, here's your mag check in flight, this area right here. I'm going to scroll in on that, you can see how bad that was running. And we can see that the in-flight mag check here, Lena Peak, is just showed us craptacular uh, health on those mags. A great variance between the two, so you're essentially running on one mag that was there uh, versus the other one. The timing's way off on one of those mags. So you need to get those 500 hour inspected as we discussed earlier. Okay, let's take a look here at the rest of the chart. Back here to the number five, we see number three, of course, goes up to um, 407 on this test, maybe actually a little higher, um, maybe a little bit there, 408. Um, you can, as we did a calibration test, you found out that your manifold pressure is reading higher than actual by almost a half an inch. That means 30 and a half inches is actually 30 inches of manifold pressure. And you're putting your fuel flow in to try to match. 30 and a half inches, but you're really only putting in 30 inches. So you're actually on the rich side of where you want to be uh, according to the POH. So to compensate for that, when you look at your manifold pressure indication when you go to 30 and a half inches, you need to add a half an inch to that to come even close to what that magenta or that uh, blue line, the blue carrot is on the fuel flow target uh, to get anywhere close to um, a book value as a start. You can see up here as I point the cursor to it, the number five. EGT is wonky as it goes throughout its life there. So you got a couple things to do. One, get that fuel flow adjusted. Two is uh, take care of those GAMI spread. Three is the mags. Uh, get those 500 hour inspected. Four is to uh, bring up that oil pressure into the mid 50s. And five is to get that number five very carefully looked at. And then do the test profile again after that and let's see how it all turns out.